Hi, everyone. Welcome. Uh, my name is Christina. I'm with Wondrous Bark Puppets, and welcome to our second live DIY puppet craft. Here we go. Oh, hang on. I wrote this backwards, actually. So, there you go. I'm impressed with myself. Here we go. Okay, um, just a little extra treat for you guys um, before we get started. I just want to um, whoop, look at that little, look at that little pup sleeping in the background. She is very cute. Okay, but she's just gonna be hanging out. She's not gonna participate in the craft, unfortunately. Okay, so welcome. Again, this is day two of Wonderspark Puppets DIY um, puppet crafts. So um, I just want to um, wish you all well. Uh, I know these are difficult times as we're all doing uh, the self-quarantine thing, doing our part, and I know a lot of us are uh, finding ourselves at home, not only being parents, but now teachers as well. So we are doing this as a free service to help you guys in the after school hours to do something fun with your kids, um, you know, after, after a day of homeschooling. So hopefully this can bring you, um, you know, a little bit of joy, a little fun thing to do with your kids. Um, yeah, so I'm up here in uh, Northern Manhattan we are also hunkered down. I think we have enough um, food and and such. We are staying inside as much as possible and to, uh, to do our part and try and, um, you know, help contain things. So, um, yeah, we are doing all right. Hopefully the same for you. And I want to show you now a really fun um, little craft that you can do. Okay, are we ready? So, this craft was inspired by my nephew, James. Hi, James. Um, he is super into crafting. He's very good at it. And um, we were doing a video chat um, yesterday and he showed me this awesome little frog puppet that he made. And I thought, what a great idea. Like, um, you know, this is something that we can share and that everybody can do. So um, again, we are gonna do this using just ordinary things that you probably already have around your house. So big plus, we don't have to go out to Michael's and stock up on anything. It should be stuff that you already have around the house. So the first thing is a clothespin. Regular old clothespin. Uh, we are going to need a glue stick. And I found out a neat little trick here. I just wanna show you guys. Uh, how crooked my apartment is. Ooh, see that? It just rolls on by itself. So, haha, there you go. Um, we'll need some scissors and a pencil. And I'm also going to use a marker as well. You can probably skip this step, but I find it helpful. And then anything that you want to color with. So today I'm going to use colored pencils. Okay? Okay. And oh, of course, last but not least is some paper. So you actually don't need very much paper for this, which is also um, useful. So I, I was doing some tests earlier, so I'm just going to actually use a little scrap of paper. So you don't even need the full sheet, or you can do several puppets on one sheet, even better. So the puppet that I'm going to make is, again, out of a clothespin, and it is this very cute little whale. So that's how he works. Right? You pinch the clothespin together and his mouth opens like this. Okay, so I thought this was very cute and uh, I realize I'm not great at drawing anymore. <laughs> so this should also be very simple. Um, you can do it without a pattern. You can make your own pattern. So I'm gonna start by just drawing a regular old oval shape on my paper, right? So there we go. If you can see, regular old oval. And now I'm gonna add a tail. So I'm just gonna put this kind of towards the upper half of my oval. Just a little tail with kind of two little, little spikes, right? Ta-da! All right, 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna just erase that little line. It's connecting the tail. And now, for me this is helpful, but you don't necessarily have to do this step. I'm gonna outline in black marker. Here we go. So I've got my outline. Now, this is a very important step. Okay, we're gonna draw a line straight through the middle, just like that, right? The crucial part. So I am also gonna add a little eye to my whale, because I think it's cute, okay? And I'm gonna give him a little eyebrow. Very simple. My chubby little whale. All right, so um, again, this is why I outlined in black because it helps me to cut on the proper line. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut around the outside. Get the tail. Pretty, pretty silly little tail that I've made now that I'm looking at it. But you know, there's no mistakes in art. So I have my outline here, and you know what I forgot to do is my favorite part coloring. So I'm gonna go ahead and go traditional grayish blue for my little whale. And uh, I don't have a camera person today, so please excuse um, the wobbling camera as I'm here on my folding table that I do all my crafting at. So here we go, I'm just coloring in nice and simply. I encourage you to be as creative as you want with your puppets. I think that makes it even better. Here we go, and then I'm also going to add some little detail black lines on his belly. Ta-da! So there I go. I have my colored in little whale. Okay, now, this part might be a little bit scary, but hang in there. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut right on this black line, right through the middle. Okay, here we go. Sorry, Mr. Whale. Okay, so now he is in two pieces, but fear not, this is how we will turn him into our new puppet friend. Ready? We're gonna take our clothespin and we're gonna add some glue to the top and the bottom. And I think it works better if you glue in front of the spring part. So not all the way across, just the top and bottom here in front of the spring. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Add my little glue, my trusty little glue stick. Okay, so as you might guess, I'm gonna glue the top part to the top, right? There we go. And I'm gonna glue the bottom part to the bottom. Okay. All right, so I did get a little bit on the spring, but that's Right, so here we go. Now we have our brand new puppet friend. Nom, 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 nom. So there you go. And um, last thing I wanted to say, well, maybe not the last thing, but um, I do also want to encourage you, again, I did this one because it's a very simple shape, basically just a circle with a little tail on it, right? So to me, that's something that anybody can do. Right, very easy. But if you are anything like James and you are an excellent crafter and drawer, is that a word? I don't know. Um, but I really encourage you to be more creative with this. You can do all kinds of different animals. These are just some samples that I kind of made just playing around. I'm sure you can do better. But I made a little crocodile. Rawr, rawr, rawr. And I also made um, this one was inspired by James. My own little frog, his was better than mine, but that's okay, you get the idea. Ribbit, ribbit, hmm? All right, so again, I wanna encourage you to 
uh, come up with your own ideas and make your own puppets. So the only thing that you really need to keep consistent is making sure that you draw that line right through the middle of what animal you're making, right? Kind of where their mouth would be and make sure you cut on that line and glue it to the top and bottom part of the clothespin, right? That's all you need to do. Other than that, you can make whatever you want. So that's what I really love about this craft. So, um, cool. I hope that helps you um, break some boredom in these times. And um, once again, we are Wonder Spark Puppets. And as everybody is kind of struggling, uh, we are a small business. We're kind of getting hit hard by this. So if you would like to help us out, you can go to wonderspark.org and we have some merch on sale. We have some really cool t-shirts and tote bags and stickers. So you can sh support us um, by showing some swag. And uh, I think the coolest part is we also, um, you can buy a raffle ticket on our site as well. And we will be raffling off uh, private live streamed puppet shows, right? So um, the winner is going to be announced every Friday during our public live stream shows. So that's right. We are also live streaming public shows every Friday at 11 a.m. So there you go. So we're hoping to support you and your family in this time. If you want to show us a little love, go to wonderspark.org as well. You can buy some cool stuff or a raffle ticket and enter your chance to win your own private live streamed puppet show. All right. So I will be back again on Friday with another puppet craft. And uh, we will, but fear not, tomorrow at four o'clock, we're also doing another craft that will be hosted by Z. All right. So we're doing these every day at four o'clock. So when you hit that after school time, Look out for us. We'll be there for you. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.